Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. I'm going to show you a recipe today from Whole Foods Simply, an amazing website with a great selection of clean eats that you can replace some of those treats or finger foods or even meals with if you want to increase your health and wellness. I absolutely love this one. It is the Jersey Caramel and you won't believe how easy it is. Just four ingredients thrown in the blender and in 35 seconds to a minute you are completely done. So what we've done here is we've popped two cups of shredded dry coconut into the blender jug and I'm just going to turn it on low and let that turn into a nice fine dust first step. Now you don't want to over blend there because if you keep blending coconut you can actually create your own coconut butter. So we just want to make sure that we're blended, we're fine but we're not making that coconut butter. So I'll give it a little bit longer so I get the right texture that I'm looking for. Okay, easy as pie. So all we do now is add the rest of the ingredients. A teaspoon of vanilla paste. You can use any vanilla paste that you like or if you'd like you can even use a whole vanilla bean scrape. You know, I'm going to use this Nui brand one which I find has quite a nice flavour in it and it's an organic one as well so there we go. And as usual my fingers are in the food already. Now the next ingredient is just a pinch of Celtic or Himalayan sea salt whichever you prefer. Celtic sea salt is my preference but I have this one in the uh, cracker today so that's what we're using. 12 dates. Make sure that you remove the seeds before you pop them into the blender jug otherwise you will have a racket um, on your hands and it won't really turn out to be the best fudge you've had. So there we go. Dates are a natural sweetener. Please know they are high in natural fruit sugars but they're certainly much better for you than you will find in a refined sugar that you find at the supermarket like icing sugar or white sugar. So this is definitely a better alternative, a clean eating alternative for you. Now we're going to take the lid plug out. This is the Optimum 9400 blender. It's a great little unit. It has the same motor um, power in it as the 9200 but instead of the button dash on the front this one has dials. So we have a pulse button, the dial that goes from 0 up to 10 and the on and off switch there. You also have the new soft rubber lid that's connect included with the 9400. We're going to put the tamper straight into the blender jug and we're going to give it a bit of a go. So I turned it up to about 8, I didn't need to go any higher and I can see that that's been working really hard. Please don't get concerned about using these thicker mixtures in the 9400 blender. It has an overload switch so if for some reason you are blending something that's really hard on the motor, it will just flick off and you can turn the overload switch back on underneath after you finished, uh, after it's cooled down. So pretty much the only way to blow this one up is to pop a grenade in it. I don't think we'll be doing that today. Now. I could see that that was ready because we pulled away from the edges. You can see how that juicy mixture has pulled away from the edges and I can easily pull it out. I use my hands a lot in the blender jugs but if you don't like to do so just use a long handled spoon. The spoon will have available a nice big spatula. So I pop that down into the bottom scrape the excess away. This again is a great recipe because it just pulls away from the side of the jug so easily because the oils have started to be released from the coconut that we used in this recipe. So delicious, tasty, sweet, Jersey caramel looking and nothing wasted in the bottom of the jug. And again, this one can be cleaned just like all of the other Optimum blenders. A little squirt of dishwashing liquid, pop the lid and the lid plug back on top, turn it on, give it a few seconds and all of a sudden it'll clean itself out, rinse it out, turn it upside down to dry or dry it out thoroughly before you pop it away in your cupboard. I'm just going to use my fingertips but as I've said in other similar videos, you can also use the inside of a Ziploc bag to protect your fingers um, while you're doing this and to get a nice smooth finish on your fudge. But I love this one. Again, like lots of the recipes from Whole Foods Simply, the apricot bites, the chocolate, uh, the cacao fudge, um, simple to make, easy to press, store in the fridge 10 to 15 minutes, 
ready to go and they'll last in there for quite a while. If you want to leave them longer than a week or so, I'd recommend chopping them into bite-sized pieces, putting them into a, a plastic uh, or glass container and popping them into the freezer and that'll last a little bit longer for you. So if you like a sweet treat or two, these are great to have on hand. They can go into the kids' lunches for school, they can go into your lunches for school, they'd be beautifully with a cup of tea. Um, we can even wrap them up coming into Christmas time. Great idea. Get some cellophane, pop a few chopped pieces in there, a little bow around the top and you can hand those out as favours. Quick and easy. If you've got any other great Christmas favours or sweet treat recipes, please feel free to pop the links or notes below in the comments. And don't forget to like the Fruity TV channel so that you can see more great videos like this. Ciao for now.